Good morning, you guys. It is Monday morning. It's almost 10. Um, I am leaving. God, it's freezing in here. I am leaving to go to a doctor's appointment this morning. It's at 1045, but it's up in Woodstock. So um, it'll take me about 30 minutes to get there. Um, I'm meeting my mom after and we're gonna grab lunch, just depending on how I'm feeling after my doctor's appointment. Like I said, it's Monday. I thought it would be fun to do a little week in my life. I rotate back to night shift this week. I've been on day shift for the last three months. The way our unit works specifically is new grad nurses, which is what I was a year ago, February, February of 22. I started as a new grad. Um, I was on orientation until May and then for our new grad nurses, we rotate between day shift and night shift for a full year um, after we come off orientation. So this upcoming May, I'll hit my year off orientations. Night shift is my last rotation, but I will likely go full-time night shift after this. Um, I love both. I really like night shift and I really like day shift, um, but night shift pays a lot more. There's a big differential and I feel like eventually my body's not gonna be able to handle the schedule of night shift and just like switching my sleep schedule back every night. Um, or like the nights that I'm not working, like switching it back to like a normal schedule. So I feel like I should take advantage of making the money while I can um, and while my body can still handle it. Anyways, I just thought it would be fun to show you kind of like getting back into the routine of night shift. My first one's tomorrow. So I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday this week. I'm running late. So we're gonna go to the doctor's appointment. I'm eating a banana on the way um, and probably some peanut butter crackers. I just got home from Trader Joe's. I figured I would just show you like the few things that I got. So first I just went in to get salmon mostly. Um, their salmon is so good. Then I got these dill pickle potato chips. This is definitely a little cheat snack but they're so good. They're chips in a pickle. Highly recommend these chips if you've never tried them. They're delicious. Um, I got a couple Honeycrisp apples. This is such a weird thing to say, but I love their produce bags. They're like, that's so weird, but the produce bags, they're like soft almost. That's so strange to say. This apple is ginormous and then so it's these little mini hold the cones they are little mini drumsticks this is the kind we usually get this one is um it's got chocolate ice cream in it and then i've never seen this one this one is coffee ice cream which joey's favorite ice cream is coffee so i figured he would love this kind um so i got a couple boxes of those and then i've been really craving some kombucha i haven't had it in so long Okay, ma'am, excuse me. Do you like kombucha? So I got three different flavors. So I just got the Trilogy, like the classic flavor, and then two flavors that I've never tried. This one's Elderberry Juniper. Um, just sounded kind of good, and the lady at checkout said this one was really good too. Um, and then I got the Peach Paradise. And the lady at checkout too was like, have you tried this one yet? And I said, no, I just thought it looked really good. And she was like, oh my God, it's so good. So anyways, that's like just a small little Trader Joe's haul. guys I'm sitting here with my yogurt bowl that I just made I did not vlog the rest of the day after I got home from the grocery store tonight I go back to night shift the night before a stretch of night shift is always weird because you're having to like prepare for that night to stay up all night um, whereas in between shifts, obviously you get home in the morning, you sleep all day and it's easy to sleep all day because you just stayed up all night. So, but it's always, people do it different ways. I used to do it different. I used to stay up until about four in the morning the night before and then just sleep. I don't like that anymore. Um, 
I don't know why I ever did that because it just completely takes away your entire day before your night shift. Um, so now I try and just get a normal night's sleep. Like I went to sleep probably around 11 last night. I woke up this morning at like a normal time and that way I get to have my morning. I can go to the gym and then I'll try and take a few hours nap later. I need to run a couple errands. I need to drop some of Joey's clothes off at the dry cleaners. Um, I have a prescription to pick up and I need to go to the gym. So we're going to do that. Hopefully I can get back home around 1230 to one. So that way I can shower and take a nap for like two or three hours um, and feel nice and rested before my shift tonight. just got back from the gym and running some errands um it's about 1 15 it's a little later than i wanted it to be um but i'm just having a little snack i just made some oatmeal i need to adjust my eating habits on night shift because in the past when i've been on night shift i get home and i don't eat anything i just go straight to bed but i really want to change that i really would like to come home and eat something and i feel like oatmeal is a really good thing for me to have because it's really light because I'm like really not hungry when I get home but I feel like I should eat something and oatmeal is nice and warm it's like nice to have right before you go to bed I feel like it's super light on your stomach my child is reaching in my oatmeal bowl it's 118 right now I'll probably get into bed about 1 30 I'm gonna eat this and shower and go to bed and then hopefully nap I'm hoping to get three hours in so hopefully till like 4 30 it's now five o'clock that nap was everything i needed it to be i'm now eating my leftover chipotle i need to make myself look somewhat alive before i go mm -mm. nope look at her trying to snag it ma'am i'm eating it with these tortilla chips that are there's like none left but these are such good chips. If you've never had them, the Truly Tortilla Chips from Trader Joe's. I'm actually really excited to go back to night shift. I'm not excited to get used to the night shift again, but I have a lot of friends on night shift that I do miss working with. A lot of nurses that I miss working with and a lot of RTs um, that I miss working with too. Our unit works very closely with our respiratory therapists. I know a lot of units aren't like that. So now I'm packing my lunch. Um, we have <laughs> so many leftovers of this Caprese, Caprese, Caprese pasta that I made. I am very picky with what I take small, like a sandwich and like just snacks. Or if I'm taking a meal, I need it to be something like warm, like a comfort food kind of thing. So like pasta or like rice bowl or something like that. I also refuse to take any kind of seafood unless it's in a pasta, like a shrimp pasta. There's a few people on night shift that bring like salmon and veggies and heat it up at two in the morning. And I'm sorry, but I am just not trying to smell that at two in the morning. It's gross. If you're one of those people just know that the people around you are probably not having it. I didn't make the rules. Okay, so I'm packing that. I'm packing just a little protein bar. I always have one of those in my lunchbox. Um, just a little bag of sun chips. I'm pretty sure this is something that somebody brought to us at work one time and I've just not eaten them yet. I always take a ton of drinks because I just never know what I'm gonna be feeling. So I'm taking a sparkling water. I'm taking um, this kombucha that I probably won't even drink all of, and then I'm taking this Celsius just in case I get super tired. And I like to have a snack available too. So I'm gonna take this apple, and I'm gonna bring my little chopple knife. 
and I keep peanut butter in my locker at work so I can have apple with peanut butter if I feel snacky. That's the lunch. Um, I need to leave here in a sec, so I need to go get ready. Okay, we're all dressed, ready for work. Um, coffee's still being made. Me too. Need my water bottle. As much as I love my Stanley Cup, I do not take it to work because I always come to work with a coffee and I hate having to carry both things. I'm trying out this new creamer. I need to leave. It's 5.53 and I need to leave at 5.50 so that's good. I love these coffee mate creamers but they are like the absolute worst for me. Like everything is just fake ingredients and this just simple truth organic coffee creamer is only the ingredients are milk, sugar, cream, and vanilla. So hopefully it's good. But honestly, I'm gonna be mixing these two because there's like a tiny bit left in here and I'd rather just finish it off. Throw this in there. Actually, I might just put it off. So, yep, it was. Okay, anyways, we're gonna be trying the new creamer tomorrow because what was left of the other creamer was enough. Okay, my backpack on. Got my lunch. Everything's packed. Alrighty, I'll see you in the morning. We survived our first night shift back on my way home. I had to stop at Kroger. Well, I didn't have to, but all night long, my friend Allie and I were talking about frescas. And I don't know like what it is, but I've been craving a Fresca since then. Um, I'm a big drink gal at work. I love to have different drinks with me. So I stopped and grabbed some Frescas and then I also needed more almond milk for oatmeal. Cause like I said, I'm trying to eat when I get home. So I'm gonna make some oatmeal when I get inside and we were almost out of milk. I also grabbed some frozen blueberries because I've heard those are good in oatmeal too. So. Anyways, we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna shower and then make something to eat and then go to bed. It's currently 8.03, but we survived just barely. It's a little bit later. So I got home this morning. Um, Joey was at home. He just had stuff on Zoom today. So he was awake this morning and we got to hang out a little bit when I first got home. I ended up going to sleep around nine this morning. And then I just slept terribly. I don't know what it was. My body's just like, why in the world are you sleeping during the day? I don't know what the issue is. So I went to sleep at nine. I woke up once around 11 and I literally was so confused. I woke up thinking that it was like the afternoon. So I fell back asleep, woke up again, didn't look at the time, was able to fall right back asleep. And then I woke up at two and just was not able to fall back asleep. I laid in bed trying to fall asleep again until like about 3.30. Um, Cause typically I'll try and sleep till like four, 4.30. But I was just not able to fall back asleep. I tried for like an hour and then finally I just got up, just laid on the couch instead. I will not be surprised if I am extra tired tonight, but it's fine. I'm glad it's not a three in a row. I just worked tonight and then I've got a couple days off and then I'm back Saturday. Good morning, we made it. Just got home a little bit ago. I was on the phone with my mom. Last night was good. It was a good little shift. It was nice and chill. Um, I got to catch up with some friends that I hadn't seen in a while. My babies were good to me. Um, I was just exhausted. So I think I'm going to make some oatmeal. I think I may sleep till about one or two. No way I have time to like have some of my day as well, like be able to go to the gym and all that good stuff. So we're gonna make some oats and I need to clean out my lunch box as well. I just use regular Quaker oats, just like old fashioned oats. I do half a cup of oats and then I just do some almond milk 
The standard is like half a cup of oats to a cup of milk or water. I find that that makes it a little bit watery. It's probably like three quarters of a cup. I'll heat it up for like a minute and 30 seconds in the microwave and then stir it. Hi, I missed you. Hot. So then I will put some peanut butter in here, just like a little bit. I'll stir that in. I just love that the peanut butter melts right into the oats. Then I'll take just a little bit of honey and then I'll take frozen blueberries. So this is what it looks like with the frozen blueberries and I'll just stir that in. Get everything mixed in there. I am going to eat this and shower and go to bed. orange cat behavior. Get. It is currently 2.50. I woke up at 2. I slept so good today. I feel like I literally didn't even move the whole time. I slept so good. Definitely like wanted to sleep longer but needed to wake up so that I could go back to sleep tonight and have like at least some of my day today and not like sleep the whole day away. I am having an apple with some peanut butter. I made this PB2 powder. Like the only time I've really used it is um, in smoothies. Don't get me wrong. I like there's nothing wrong with peanut butter, but if I'm having a lot of it, I'm like, okay, maybe I can try and at least make it like a little bit healthier. I need to go to the gym. I will definitely need some pre workout this morning. Leaving work was a lot. Um, a sweet patient of mine. Um, unfortunately passed this past weekend and his memorial service was yesterday really disappointed that I wasn't able to go just because it was in the middle of my two shifts um, but I did get to talk to one of our nurses and one of our respiratory therapists that did get to go um, and they just spoke so highly of the service and told me all about it and it just sounded so beautiful and so well put together. The perfect way to honor him and his family. So I was talking with um, those co-workers at work this morning and um, obviously it's just a really heavy conversation so I think it would be good for me to take a walk and kind of clear my head and everything because I kind of just like talked to them on my way out and then went to bed. <laughs> So the job that I have is really intense. Um, most of the time is a really, you know, positive environment and there's a lot of exciting things that happen, but you know, there's always working in healthcare. There's always the other side of that. Um, and I just want to be real, um, with the hard parts of my job. And unfortunately this kind of stuff is, you know, the hard part. So it's important as healthcare workers, in my opinion, to take care of yourselves. Um, because if you don't take care of yourself first, you're not going to be able to provide the best care for your patient. I've been trying to be better about my mental health. I feel like in the past, I've like really been good about compartmentalizing everything in my mind. Like work is work, life is life, and the two don't mix together. But honestly, I don't feel like that's always the best way to do it, at least for me because sometimes I feel like it builds up and then, you know, work stuff runs over into life and it affects me on a day-to-day -day basis and not just while I'm at work. So, um, I've really tried to be more conscious of taking care of myself and letting myself feel the emotions of work so that I can really focus on, you know, how to deal with it and how to be a better nurse from it. Um, and learn from the emotions that I'm feeling. You know, everything's a, like very much a learning experience and I have only been a nurse for about a year now and I still, I mean, I have so much to learn. So, and it's not even just skill-based stuff and knowledge-based stuff that I'm learning. It's, you know, how to take care of myself and the emotional side of it that I'm also still learning and trying to balance. So anyways, all that being said, I think a walk would be really good for me right now. A little bit later I went to the gym 
um went on a nice little walk it's gorgeous outside joey's at the gym or he just left the gym so we're gonna meet at new realm brewery on the Beltline and have dinner there we have a gift card there so we're gonna go ahead what right i wish you could come if you would let us put you on your leash she has a harness and she hates it coffee it's friday morning joey is at the hospital um he'll probably be there till like around four and then i am gonna eat some breakfast and go to the gym and then i really want to lay out by the pool so i might do that i think for breakfast i'm gonna make a little like egg scramble i got these like I got these like frozen hash browns so I'm gonna do that with eggs and maybe some avocado and tomato and whatever else we have we have onion and stuff too okay so it doesn't look very appetizing right now but I did potatoes I made a couple fried eggs um, I also sauteed some onions with the potatoes I left the yolk runny because that's how I like my eggs and then I cut up some tomatoes and some avocado and put some salt and pepper and hot sauce on it and just made like a little scramble bowl I just got ready to go to the gym and we're gonna make some pre-workout so this is the pre-workout that Joey and I both use it is the Beyond Raw Lit it's strawberry lemonade flavor I do like maybe half to three fourths a scoop because I don't love the tingles. But Joey has tried a lot more different kinds of pre-workout and he says that this is the best kind. This is the only kind I've ever tried and I love it. So I mix it with like probably 10 ounces of water and just shake it up. I was gonna walk to the gym, but now I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna drive. One, because it's mainly because it's quicker and I really wanna get to the pool. And also because I am hitting legs today. And I just, I love walking to the gym and then I have to walk home and I'm like, I always regret it. I feel like I've been in a really good gym routine lately and I worry that if I take more than one day off, like at a time, I'll fall out of the routine and it's so hard to get back into it. So I'm trying my best to like, even if it's not like the hardest workout ever, at least go and like get some cardio in at least just to like stay in the habit and stay in the routine of going because I really like how it feels for it to be like a habit. Like I just wake up and like I know it's gonna be part of my schedule for the day and it actually like makes me happy going rather than it's like a oh like I have to go to the gym. It doesn't feel like that anymore. It feels like something that I look forward to. And I was always jealous of the people that said it was like so freeing and like so good for their mental health. I was like, I wish it was like that for me. Um but the more I've gone and like the more it's gotten to be a routine for me the more I feel like it has become that for me. It's become like like a mental escape. And it just kind of like is part of my day where I get to like step away from the rest of my life and like the stresses of life and work. And anyways, I just feel like I finally got to that point. And all that being said, I don't want to step out of that routine. I want to keep it going. So yeah, that's how I feel. Can you come inside? I know. I know. Can you come inside? No. Do not hide from me. Look at her. Oh, you're so cute. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You want to play? You want to play? All right. Time to go inside. So I just got home from the gym in Sephora. I have been totally influenced on TikTok 
to get this Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I struggle a lot with large pores and clogged pores and I can never find anything that like actually works. And someone on TikTok was saying that this like really clears out her pores and uh, makes them appear smaller and people were commenting and stuff saying like that it actually does really work and they really, really like it. I have had Kiehl's products in the past. Um, I've had an eye cream and a couple different masks and a moisturizer from them before. And I really like their products. I feel like it's really, um, they're really light. I'm not always somebody that just like listens to TikTok about everything, but it was like all these people, like literally everyone in the comments was like, I've had this for years. It's the only thing I will use. And I just need something that's like, I can just use it once a week, like a little mask to put on. I just need to take better care of my skin. So with that being said, I'm gonna eat a little snack um, and then change and go down to the pool. A little bit later. I'm trying to get taut. Look, look, go get it. We hung out at the pool for a bit and now we're going on a date. I don't know where we're going, but maybe somewhere in Ponce. Look how handsome he looks. I like the fit. Thanks. You look nice.